Hi everybody, Georgie Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this month's Card Pal card. The colour is gold. And I'm sorry about the glare. If I tip it that way, maybe you could see it. No, that way's better. So this is my gold card for Sam. My Card Pal. Quite a pretty card. Right, to make this card, I've used a retired, well retired I think, I think it's called um, uh, soft brown sugar or brown baked brown sugar or something like that, I don't know. But I had a couple of sheets of it so I thought, oh I'd use it up. So that's what I'm doing to make this card. Also very vanilla. So, for this card you will need card bits. I've done all my cutting out already. So you need a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth, folded in half and burnished. You need two pieces of very vanilla cardstock at three and seven eighths by five and five eighths. A piece of designer series paper. This paper is from, oh no, I forgot. Oh, it's not my birthdays. Um, it's not even in this one. So where did Katie get it from? Um... Must be out like the Christmas one. Let me look. Mm. That's not it. I can't even remember what it's called. I never bought it. Um, well, I did buy it. My upliner does a deal every month where she gives away half a pack of, or sells half a pack of paper and some card stock and that's how I get my um, designer series paper because I don't want to buy a whole pack of designer series paper and not use it hmm I don't know where she's got it from it's um, got numbers and gold and black and I don't know what else it's got in it well this is annoying not knowing the name of it do 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 Something to do with dates. No, can't see it. And it's definitely not in here. So I don't know where she's got it from, but I do know it's a stamping up paper. Oh, this one here it is. <laughs> Broadway bound speciality, speciality designer series paper. There it is, and we're using that one there. Should look proper first time. Anyway, so that's what it is, and on the back it's old olive stripes. You also need, um, on this one I'm used an ornament, which I've already cut out. Um, because it is a devil, this bit is a devil to cut out. You need to put it through two or three times. So I've done that already. Um, for the sentiment, I've just put Merry Christmas and I've used the uh, label punch. Pretty label punch, I think that's called. And some gold ribbon. Right, well, put this card together. 
uh, with some glue and then we'll do some stamping so I'll, this is a good start glue is blocked I'm going to have to change this container my lid is cracked and it's obviously not stopping the glue from drying up in the spout I don't have another lid so I'll have to put it in another bottle which I do have that's the inside done right stick the paper oh, I never told you what size this was this is five and a half by three and three quarters so it just leaves a little tiny border all the way around like that and then we glue this on the front Quite a quick card when you've cut everything out ready. And then we have to glue this onto the foil. So what the die does, it cuts it in two lots. So you cut out a um pattern bit first. And then you have to cut out your backing if you want to put a backing on it. I'll show you in a minute. I'll get the die out once I put it on. I'll just line it up. Okay, that glue dries clear, but I will get a wet wipe out and just mop that up. I think the wet wipe is too dry, too wet. <laughs> This is the die I used. I think you've seen me use that before, that one before. But I added this centre bit. So you have to cut it like that to get the very vanilla out. To cut the very vanilla out. And then you cut it like just that to get the back gold background. The same applies with this one, the one with the reindeer on it. <clears throat> so I'm going to put this on dimensionals. I have got some large dimensionals. Both large. in the middle. 
Stoff. Throw more to the side, which I literally don't, and then just place that on the card. Um, now we want to do the sentiment, and the sentiment I'm going to get from Mistletoe Season, and I'm just going to use that Merry Christmas there and this punch so I need that, that and I'm using crumb cake ink and stamp it down don't forget if you're using the photopolymer stamps use a stamping mat I don't need to use one as I've got plenty of padding here with this pad and my glass mat underneath it also gives. I do have one. I just don't use it when I'm filming. And this we will stick on there. Now as this has got to be posted, I am sticking this flat. So I don't need to put any more dimensional into it. Can't see it going down straight, that's it. I'll finish with that. Now we want a ribbon. I've got my gold ribbon and make a bow. Fingers stuck. Right. Doesn't need to be a big bow. Put it right down. That should do nicely. I'm just going to place that there. So, trim the ends off. And the way I stick my bows down is a bit of double sided tape. If I can find the size I want. I've got a load of red tape sticking in my box which I don't usually have so I am going to put just a bit on smooth it out We just want to add three gems which I've got here. And place them under Merry Christmas. Don't think that was very level that one. So that's the this month's card 
for Sam. Hope she likes it. And the little gift I'm going to send with it. I know she won't see it till just before Christmas. But she can watch the, or won't get it till just before Christmas as I've got to send it to Telford um, as she lives in Spain but she's coming home for Christmas. So I hope you like it Sam. All I can say is thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video please give us a thumbs up. Um, if you'd like to see more of my videos please subscribe and press the notification bell next to it and you'll be notified of every time I upload any videos which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. So thank you very much.